Au revoir to everyday boring routine. Rest in peace. Today we are going to show you how living is done. From the world-class Greyberry Reef to the wild rainforest. Hello to a better life at one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yes, I am talking about tropical cans. The epic adventures and landscapes. Of course, it wouldn't be a guide without showing you the city and restaurants. The nightlife is also very vibrant here. We are on search for a new perfect home address. So from natural delights we also embark on a luxury real estate Cairns has to offer. With rich landscape full of waterfalls, Asian natural parks, breathtaking skywalks and the cutest little villages. Ken seems to be the ultimate place to satisfy our highly demanding souls. This series will reveal all you need to know before moving to Cairns. Let's get into it! Now, before we get into it, Cairns is 100% most popular because of the Great Barrier Reef. But the surprising part is, you might come here even if you don't like ocean life. It has so much to offer and that's exactly what this video is going to show you. Cairns is not a huge city. You can drive around all main attractions in 10 days. Cairns locals will tell you that the best part of the area is the rainforest. But the most travelers will end up at the city esplanade. As a matter of fact, nobody can resist a cold beer with the stunning view of a palm trees and the well-lit waterfront. Cairns is super seasonal from busy June to October due to dry and cool weather. On the other hand, December to March is a wet season and this month you are risking heavy rainfall and potential cyclones. Another thing you need to know is that the area isn't cheap, but I will reveal prices as we go. Despite that it's so much to do here, you might want to spend at least 10 days here to follow this itinerary. Let's get this video an epic start. I broke this video down into five sections. Rainforest and waterfalls, real estate and northern beaches, adrenaline activities, historical parks, and city and nightlife. But let's start with the natural beauty of the far north Australia. In the depth of a rainforest is hiding our first touristy treat. The sky rail and the historical train to Kuranda. If you love Avatar movie, you will enjoy this beautiful experience. Yeah, another Jurassic Park adventure. It is not cheap, but must do if you are heading towards Cairns. Kuranda is a small town offering hippie vibes and free spirit community. You can't miss out on the magical markets in the heart of the city. A little further from Cairns are tablelands with a small village called Yangabara. You can expect one and a half an hour long scenic drive. It's a cute place with small shops and authentically decorated cafes. We were very satisfied with the local hospitality. <laughs> really nice homework. Not far from here were Carrington Falls. A quite challenging trail led us to a magnificent waterfall on an old train rails. I had a little opportunity to change here and let's jump in. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. The views here were spectacular. A hidden gem from all who wants to escape from the highly touristy locations. However, if you don't mind meeting a few fellow Australians, you can embark on Mila Mila Falls. Be careful if you bring some snacks because bush turkeys will demand you to share. <laughs> Mila Mila Falls also hide a walk track along the river. Be careful, as in the wet season you can run into a mud and slippery edges. So which one waterfall did you enjoy the most? Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more content. Now we're gonna move to the luxury northern beaches. We were super curious about the local life and housing opportunities. Our target was Trinity Beach. 
We wanted to compare an apartment on the waterfront and a house in the rainforest. The prices offers from 1.6 mil. The body corporate was like 16,000 per year. Council rates two and a half or something like that. So we calculated the rent would give like 40,000 a year from 1.6 mil investment. That's, that's fuck all. This place comparing the price, apartments was 1.6, this is 1.4. There you go, you have house, 1.4, and that's a four bedroom house. Um, quite large, and, and um, land is like one acre as well, so that's, that's, that's a lot. I probably would not be happy with that one. Oh well, it was a nice experience. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> now, let me take you for a wander around the Palm Cove for sure. It's a dream come true location for everyday life with walk path around the beach and luxury but expensive cafes. The scenic drive around the northern beaches is absolutely breathtaking. This place is called Rex Lookout. It's very beautiful and windy. We made it all the way to the Port Douglas. From Trinity Beach this is about an hour of drive. This beach feels very remote and peaceful, even though it's not that far from Ghent. Year 2024 was a disaster with the tropical monsoon climate. In far north Queensland fell what's known as a one in a hundred year flood. Yeah guys, this is a rapidly developing situation which covers a large part of far north Queensland as well. Since January went past five months now, and instead of enjoying the best weather of the year, we hear all locals being miserable from never-ending wet season. Crazy, crazy, crazy! We stayed for a few nights at luxury castaway resort and spa on the Mission Beach. Expecting cocktail parties and Ibiza vibes, instead we spent most time in bed due to monsoon rain. However, we were lucky to have a window in the weather to jump off a plane and enjoy some hospitality. Chasing Kasuaru and coastal walks couldn't be missed. I will be revealing more accommodation options and in-depth guides through the North Queensland in the upcoming episodes. So if you're interested to learn more, definitely subscribe. Before we jump for a boat trip to Great Barrier Reef, we have to pop into a rainforest once again. This time with a little bit of history and culture. Visiting Paronella Park and Skywalk was a great addition to our trip back to Cairns. We got to work at location where Cyclone Larry in March 2006 made a damage to the forest that allowed this construction to take place. We also found time to visit Josephine Falls that surprised us with its power and amazing rainforest track. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. It's beautiful. Do not ignore the warning signs because this waterfall can be truly dangerous if you decide to take a dip. Later that day we made it back to the city center. We stayed at the waterfront ready to explore the area and the nightlife. Our accommodation at Flynn offered amazing room and views. Good morning, Cairns! In the upcoming series you can look forward to review the best hotel in the city and hospitality it offers. You absolutely can't miss on a walk around the beach with restaurants, parks and activities for kids. If you seek some peace, the city gardens is just a few minutes walk from the city center. You can also enjoy a meal at the beautiful cafe. When the sun goes out, Lagoon at the heart of the promenade offer refreshing swim and vitamin D boost. However, if you get easy sunburned, the hotel pool is also an option. At night, you can adore the city eye and take a ride. Or you can stuff yourself to explosion in all-you-can-eat meat restaurant. The bushfire restaurants can be enjoyed especially by carnivore enthusiasts and gym junkies like us. Even on holiday, we don't let our muscles to rest. Night markets and beautiful bars can also add to your holiday experience. And with the hangover, we also recommend some great breakfast options. 
If you're touring from outside Australia, you will not want to miss a cuddle with koala or an educational tour through the ocean in the aquarium. However, for adventurous souls, there is one place you must do while visiting Cairns, and that is the famous Great Barrier Reef. We have chosen the best company possible with luxury boat and heli flights. Even though the weather wasn't perfect and the waves were astronomical, we made it there in one piece. If you have never done snorkeling, you will be guided through to have the best experience. The world underwater is magical and we made a lot of friends with colorful creatures and corals. For me, it was the ultimate bucket list experience I will never forget. Especially after seeing the largest coral reef in the world from the sky. This whole Cairns adventure was a true miracle and it brought us closer together. We cannot recommend you enough to visit this magnificent part of the world. Let us know down in the comments if you have any questions as we will create a whole series going in depth day by day through all these Cairns destinations. Also visit the description for links and itinerary for this trip. It was a pleasure to have you on board and we cannot wait to see you back next time. Also, if you wish to support us, sharing is caring, so don't hesitate to invite your friends and family to watch. Thank you for the love and we will see you again in the next video.